Hey guys, welcome to this video. I've been really inspired by the soft colors of like beige, white, creams lately. So I wanted to take my color mood and put that on my face. Honestly, colors are what really inspire me the most for my makeup. It's just super fresh and simple. There's something a little bit different to it and a little bit more of an editorial approach. Just with a really nice natural base and a little bit something different on the eyes. So I'm gonna start off with a lip balm. This is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I'm gonna do a nice generous amount. I'm gonna go in with my primer. I finally got this one. One pump for my whole face. It just gets a little bit tacky when it sets down just to really grip on the makeup, but it doesn't feel sticky or heavy. So I'm gonna do a very light, natural, neutral base today. I always do natural bases, but I want the colors to be very neutral because this is gonna be a very beige color palette. I'm just gonna go ahead with my Kosas Revealer Concealer. And I'm just gonna take a little bit under my eyes. Just do a light amount on my eyes and then I just pop it on all my scarring. And I've been really loving just using a sponge to blend out my products. It's not showing as much in camera, but I got a little bit burnt on my face over the weekend, so my nose is quite red, so I might have to put some product on. I usually try to stay away from putting concealer on my nose, but I think we may just have to do that to make this base just look a little bit more neutral. All right, so I'm not gonna directly put product on my nose, but whatever is left on the sponge, I'm just gonna kind of pounce that and dilute my nose a bit. All right, so then I'm just gonna go kind of look over my face and if I see any blemishes that I just want a little bit more, I'll just go ahead and place a little bit of concealer on. So while I'm waiting for my concealer just to set a bit before I blend it out, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. I finally got the Anastasia Brow for Razor. I kind of mix thoughts on it, so I'll share a bit with you as I use it. One thing about it, it really gunks up the spoolie and dries, so you have to like constantly either clean your spoolie or get a new one. But yeah, you just go ahead, dip into the product like so with your spoolie, just on the inside of the cap, and then just kind of pat it out a little bit just so there's not too much. Then you just brush through your brows and you have quite a bit of time to maneuver them before it sets down. Honestly, if you want to just save your money and do a soap brow, I think it has like the same effect, but you just have to like spray it down, which this is nice. You don't have to like spray it, but it's not too much work, especially when I'm just spending more time on my makeup. This is very much a product that you have to do first before you put any product in your brow which I find honestly a little bit annoying because I usually like to put a little bit of product first, but I find when I do the product first, it can kind of rub it around and remove it. Definitely just for a specific kind of brow. So my concealer is probably set down enough, so I'm just gonna go ahead with my finger and just pat that in. Okay, I think that's pretty good to me. So going in with my favorite face powder, the Kosas Cloud Set, and I'm in the shade Breezy. Just go ahead with more of a fluffy brush and then I use the patting motion to set everything in place. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with bronzer. The Elia Nightlight bronzer is one of my favorites. It's just super easy to use and it's not overly pigmented, so you can really like build if you want more pigment and more of a bronze look, or you can go really soft. Even though I did a heavy swirl in the product, like I'm definitely getting bronze and some color there, but it's not overly pigmented. Hitting it on my natural cheekbones like so, and then just blowing it up a little bit more to the temples. We're gonna take a little bit into the hairline and always do the jawline. Really sculpt that. This is a great highlighting and also contouring brush. I love using the tip just to go ahead and sculpt my nose out a bit. Super precise, but fluffy enough to just really diffuse and blend it and make sure it looks super soft and natural. I used to never do this, but ever since I have, I cannot go without it. It just makes such a difference. And I like to just to lift this area of my nose a bit too. Just gives a nice shape. And a little bit on my tip of my nose and a little bit on my bridge of my nose just to get that nice shape on it. Step. Do I need more color on my nose? Probably not because I got <laughs> so sunburned. All right, so I'm gonna go in with a blush. I want something quite neutral, so I opted for this one. This is the Merit Cheek Color in Terracotta, which is a really nice neutral warm brown. So just going in with my Real Techniques Duo Fiber, just pressing it into the product, and then just diffuse a little bit on my hand, and then just place it on the cheek. Gives me a little bit more warmth and color to my cheek, but still keeps it like super neutral. And then it has a nice fresh dewiness to it. I'm just kind of layering that on top of the bronze 
sponsor, honestly, and then bringing a little bit more forward. And then I'm just gonna brush a little bit on the bridge of my nose too. And I'm just gonna go in with my sponge and pat it in, especially around the eye, just to make sure I don't have too much color there, just to kind of diffuse it. I'm gonna go in with the RMS Beauty Luminizing Powder. I have it in the mini version here, which is honestly all you need for a powder highlight. Best use of my points, honestly, so good. Same brush that I did for the contour of my nose. I'm gonna take the side of it this time and then dip into it for my highlight and just pat that on my high points. By taking a damp sponge on your highlight, it's just gonna melt in the product and give that really ethereal kind of look. This brush is like fluffy but not overly, so it really helps just do precise placement where you want it and then just kind of diffuse the edges. It still looks natural, but you definitely do get a little bit more intensity in the highlight versus like the RMS cream one. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my primer now. This is the MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Extended Eye Base. Just a little bit of it. Rub that between my two fingers. I always need a good primer for any eye look. That way it lasts longer. And then honestly, the color that you put on your eyes is just gonna pop even more. So I'm gonna start off with the MAC Cosmetics Best of Me Powder Kiss Shadow. I love this one for my base. I use it with every makeup look. And that's gonna smooth out, brighten your eyes. So whatever you put on top is just gonna pop even more, especially when you're working with colors like white and really light beiges. Next off, I'm gonna go in with the MAC Paint Pot in Groundwork. It's a great, really nice, soft, soft brown. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that on like a more of a flat edge brush and then just place them on the lid. I honestly don't really know where I'm going with this makeup look so just start by putting products on the face and then we'll go from there. I'm not gonna worry about it getting too close to the lash line because I think I'm gonna put white there and then just with a duo fiber just kind of diffuse and I find paint pots work totally fine on top of powder. They're good toppers as well and groundwork's not overly cool or overly warm. It's a good like in between, I would say. I think it leans a little bit cooler. I'm gonna go in with one of MAC's eyeshadow singles. This is in Wedge. It's just a super soft, neutral brown. I'm gonna go in with quite a fluffy brush to really diffuse the color, make sure it's not too strong. And I'm just gonna go into the crease and just blow out this color a bit. And it'll bring a little bit more warmth to the groundwork and make it look a little bit more beige. And I think because I did the RMS highlight up here, it gives a good contrast. Wedge is also just a really good color to just contour the eye with, but it's not overly pigmented or strong, so still keeps this look very soft looking. And I don't mind blowing it up to my brow kind of in the front here, I like that look. And then kind of keeping the shape upward so it's not dragging my face down. Going in with wedge again on the bottom lash line, but this time without groundwork. All right, so next, the fun part, we're gonna add some white to the look. This is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, but it's just a really nice creamy white pencil. I'm gonna go take this just along my lower lash line like so. I'm actually gonna blow it out a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna really diffuse this white and just kind of have it fade up into the brown and then just have it thin out as it goes into the inner corner. I'm gonna go in with the MAC Cosmetic Gesso, which is just a like pure bright white, really small flat edged brush. Pat that on top and it's just really gonna pop since I have the cream base. And I'm just pressing it along the lash line, not on the diffuse part. Keeping it super close to my lash line so you can still see that really nice fade. Bringing it a little bit higher in the outer corner. I really wish I had some white mascara, that would be so neat. Maybe I'll do brown mascara, that might be some nice contrast against the white anyways. Put white in my waterline. All right, so I'm gonna take the white on the bottom here with a shadow and just blow it out just a little on the outer corner, just to connect the wing. I'm only doing it on the outer corner though. Let's finish the brows now. So I'm just gonna go in with my MAC Shape and Shade in Taupe, just for a very soft brow. I'm not mixing any darker colors in it. And just in the major gaps, I'm gonna give a little bit more shape to my brow. And having lighter, not as filled in brows, I think will really add to this look. It'll keep the eyes as the focus and not the brows as the focus. I just want a little bit of brows just to frame the face so that they don't get lost. All right, so let's do the eyes because my lashes are looking a little bit crazy. My biggest problem with Anastasia Brow Freeze, it works great and everything, but I find like when I fill in my brows after I put it in, it almost like lifts the product in certain areas because of like the wet pen, even though it's meant to be used with the pen. So I'm gonna take a little bit of MAC 
Costa Riche, which is a really nice warm chocolatey brown with a little bit of a red undertone. I'm gonna take that in my tight line just to thicken my lash line, especially because we got a lot of white brightness. I need a little bit of depth, I think, for contrast. So I think I'm actually gonna go in with brown mascara for this look because I feel like black will just be a little too stark. I'm gonna be using the Essence Mascara. This is the Essence I Heart Extreme Crazy Volume Brown Mascara. And I would honestly say it's kind of looks like a blacky brown mascara. Still much softer than a black, but just lengthens and defines my lashes. So I'm gonna put a little bit on the bottom lashes as well. So I'm gonna go in with my MAC Lip Primer just to prep my lips. This is from MAC and it's in the shade Oak. It's a really nice like cool tone brown, which really defines and contours the lips. And I think it's gonna pair perfectly with the tone. So I might just do Yash lipstick. It's a little bit more of a cooler nude. Or I also have Balance, which is a little bit more of a satin finish too. I'm gonna start off with taking Yash, which is a matte. I don't mind that, but I might take a little bit of balance on top of it for some more. All right, so this is the finished look complete. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I think it's super fun, super different, but I just love the softness of it too. I think light tones are actually a really fun way to play with a little bit more editorial and very unique looks. It's not too stark and bold, but yeah, it's bold in a different way, which I really love. And I just love wearing colors that are totally inspired by my color mood. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it, and I would love for you to also subscribe so you can stay tuned for more of my videos. All right, so have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Dreaming